What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another one. We're gonna be duck hunting again today, but we're not taking the boat in the blind. We got something a little bit different planned. We actually have the kayak loaded up in the back of the truck. We're gonna have about two dozen decoys, the same guys coming out with, with me today um, as last time, but we are gonna be going to a different spot, which is super exciting. It's another public marsh, but it's Friday morning. I actually took off work for this. So I'm hoping Friday morning there won't be too many people out there just because, you know, you get the weekend warriors and stuff. So we'll see if it's super busy or not, but hopefully it can be a success. We've had a little bit of rain this morning. With the rain, it can be really good duck hunting, but we might get wet. It's supposed to stop raining around hmm, seven o'clock or so. So hopefully, hopefully we don't get too wet, but I did bring a rain jacket just in case. So with no further ado, guys, you guys will see us on the water at shooting light. Man, a lot of those flew before shooting light. Well, at least we can shoot some coots if we want. <laughs> Got a whole family of them. One shot. Get them. <laughs> Two with one <laughs> shot! Oh my god! Dude, I didn't even see those. Oh, okay, I gotta go get those. Yeah. Two with one shot. I've never done that before. Well, what do we have here? A couple of teal. Oh, a green winger, man. And two green wing teal. That's freaking sweet, dude. They're green wings. Those are these are some cool looking birds, dude. I can't believe I got a two with one shot, dude. What the heck? He's right over there somewhere. I'm having a conversation with him. Yeah, you are. Well, hey, at least we got two. Folded both of them. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that three and a half power. Right. You know what that is? I have no idea. What that Pheasant. Is. Oh really? Yeah. I did not want to shoot over you. Yeah, thank you for that. <laughs> Man, I missed. It's cold, dude. My hands are cold. We gotta be so fast with these, they're not landing. What's up, YouTube? As you guys can see, we are off the marsh. We shot. I shot those two with one shot, and then I shot another one off of camera. Unfortunately, I didn't have my camera on for it. And uh, after that, we didn't see anything. All the birds, you could tell they were kind of educated. They all flew literally 10 minutes before sunrise or before shooting time anyway. So it was kind of kind of a bummer that way. But nonetheless, we shot a couple green wing, wing teal and that kind of thing. And now I am headed to McDonald's to break into some McDonald's breakfast because I am starving. And then after that, I think for lunch, I'm probably gonna do a catch and cook on the teal. I'm not exactly sure how we're gonna cook it yet, but I'm thinking we might just do the old fashioned fry it in butter and batter it in flour. That sounds pretty good to me. We might give it a try and see what happens. Finn, Finn, what are you doing, Sat? Can you sit? Can you be a good boy? Yes, that's a good dog. Come here, buddy. I'm gonna show you something. All right, guys, so Finn, he's never seen a duck before. We're gonna show him a duck and see what he thinks. Here, buddy. You want to see a duck? You want to see a duck? What do you think? Here. Look, Finn. Look. <gasps> duck. Sit. <gasps> you a good boy. You a good boy. You want to you play with it? I won't let you play with it, but I'll let you sniff it. Sit. Good dog. What do you think of that? You're not so sure, are you? You kind of like it. You might be a little hunter there. Hey, 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 hey. I wanted to show that to you guys, but um, I'm gonna get these guys filleted up. I'm gonna get this guy cleaned up. I'm gonna get him breasted out, and we're gonna cook up some lunch. Stay tuned for that. All right, so as you guys can see, we're in the house now, and we're getting ready to prep this duck to cook. Now, we still have a little bit of time before we're actually gonna be cooking the duck. This is kind of for anybody who doesn't know how to cook duck, like if it's your first time or something like that, or if you're not super familiar with it. What you wanna do is put your duck in some water 
Okay, so you're gonna wanna take some salt and just soak these guys in salt water. You can actually use um, you can actually use salt water or milk. I personally have never tried milk, so I can't say how it is, but I know the salt water works. It kind of just helps pull all the blood out of the meat. Not all the blood, but all the kind of nasty taste and stuff and that kind of thing. But teal do taste so good that, you I mean, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. I think it's good to soak them just for a little bit. I'm probably gonna soak them for about an hour just because I'm getting kind of hungry. But if you soak them like overnight or that kind of thing, it's extra good for them. So after these guys are done soaking, we're gonna get them in the pan. All right, so I know the last time we, we talked, I said it would be about an hour. Well, mistakenly, it's been about a day since the duck was put in the refrigerator. But we're ready to cook some duck right now. Okay, so what we're gonna do, this is like probably my favorite way to make duck. All we're gonna do is we're gonna take some flour and I'm gonna just kind of put some seasonings and maybe like some salt and pepper and a few other things. And we're just gonna lightly batter these duck and we're gonna fry them in butter. Okay, so stay tuned for that. We're putting them in the skillet, so. Oh yes. As you can see, we are just melting about half a stick of butter here. Once this guy's all melted, we're gonna get this dunked into the flour and we're gonna get it cooking. I am starving, so I'm pretty pumped for this. I haven't eaten duck yet this year, so this is kind of why I wanted to cook it this way, just because I really want to be able to taste the duck flavors. Like, yeah, there's a lot of other ways you can cook this, but if you really want to taste the duck, this is probably the way to do it. Obviously, if duck is overcooked, it doesn't taste the greatest, so we're just gonna kind of see what happens. Cooking it in butter, you also have to be careful because butter burns. So for those of you that aren't too familiar with this method, just be careful so that you don't burn the butter there. We're at the two minute mark, so we're ready to flip. Oh yeah. You know, I thought I was safe doing two minutes, but I mean, it's medium, it's medium. I was hoping for more of like a medium rare, but we're just gonna bite into it and see. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. it's good. Um, It's not chewy or anything. You can definitely tell that it's duck. Only reason for that though, I think is just because it wasn't quite as medium rare as I was hoping. Um, for those of you, for those of you that don't know, when you're eating duck or cooking duck, you really want it. You really, really want it to be medium rare or even even rare, just because that's what makes it taste so good. But I tell you what, I like it. It's good. I would definitely recommend it. It's buttery. The flavor is all there. For those of you that are looking for a new duck recipe, if you haven't tried frying it in just flour and butter, give it a try. All right, so we're gonna do the final test to see if the duck's any good. Here it is. Finny, sit. You wanna give it a try? Do you like it? What do you think, buddy? Oh, he ate it right up. Was that good? Was that good, little doodle? You want more, don't you? Oh man, he likes that. Cool. Well, I didn't say I think it's safe to say that it is good. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe to this channel. Like I said, we have a lot more hunting and fishing content coming this fall and winter. So stay tuned for that, guys. We will see you later. Peace.